So, you just bought the Razer Audio Mixer and are wondering, how can I make my wireless headset work with it? Well, I think I might have what you're looking for. Now, before we get started, it's good to mention that my approach might not work for your current wireless headset, but if it does, that's one big W in my book. The fix I will be showcasing today uses the HyperX Quadcast S wireless headset. If this fix doesn't work, consider checking out Jucifer's N9's video which has a different approach to the same problem and worked out for quite some folks out there. The video's link is in the description. One last thing I'd like to mention is that, surprisingly enough, this video is based on 2 Crafty's video for the Go XLR Mini. That's the video I followed, and um, since I realized it's worked out for the Razer Audio Mixer, I thought it would be cool to make this video so folks like me could get this sorted out. The video's link is in the description. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up Windows Sound Mixer by searching for it in the Windows search box. Once you've clicked on that option, you'll get this window. Now, go into the Output drop-down menu and choose System, Razer Audio Mixer as your current output. We're not done with this window, so go ahead and close it. Next, hover over the speaker icon and right-click on it. You should be getting these options. Click on Sounds, then click on the Recording tab and find the voice chat option that says Razer Audio Mixer. I know this might be or sound as counterintuitive as it goes, but this is how Windows does its thing. Keep in mind that if this option doesn't work for you, try some of the other ones until you find where your audio is coming from. Now, click on Properties or double-click the device, then click on Listen. There should be a small checkbox option that says listen to this device accompanied by a playback through this device drop down menu from which we'll select either the default playback device or your device's name. Now let's not forget to click on this box for everything to actually work. And this is pretty much it. With all this done, you should be able to now hear everything through your wireless headset. Make sure your headset is connected. Once again, as I said before, if this method doesn't work for you, Try the other method I first mentioned at the beginning of the video. Let me know in the comments below if this worked out for you, or if you had to take extra steps. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you found this useful, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.